It's a time for more packages from China. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, I wanted to take a close look at maybe the best clone I have ever reviewed here on the channel. The Mini G1 from Mind Kids Classic Family and Arcade Games. I first of all like this box. The product itself is already quite old. It is even launched before they released the original Sega Mini Classic. And I just want to point out this is a fake version. It comes with, let's see, a console adapter, AV cable and joystick. Two of them. Yeah, you ready? See it and you can hear it in AV out cable. And that's the biggest bummer. But there was something I wanted to show you why I really think this thing is the best one of every single clone I've reviewed here. All right, so let's open up the box itself. And the reason I really like it, first of all, the casing itself looks very nice. You need to take into consideration this was released before the original one and they did an amazing job. And first of all, let's do the smell test. It doesn't smell chemical at all. It looks, it looks nice. It smells even nice. The on off switch is kind of sturdy. We're going to get a reset button over there. The slider doesn't do anything. There is no way of putting in like a fake cartridge or something that doesn't do anything. At the front, we're going to get two ports. At the bottom, some information about the system itself. The CPU is in 68000 that we have seen before in different systems. And at the back, we're going to get micro USB for connection and an AV out. This is the tiny jack edition. But okay, let's take a close look at the controls and the power supply. The power supply is just a 5 volt basic version. It comes with a very nice micro USB cable. And of course, it came with two freaking controllers. The controllers are not let's say comparable with the original one of course but they are not that bad they weigh let's say the same like most cheap devices cheap controllers but what I like about it is that the button touch it's very nice the floating d-pad it's very comfortable it's a little bit higher than the original one I know for sure but it feels very nice select but there is no mode button that we've seen with the original one but the controllers ah oh, smell very really nice okay enough sniffing let's hook up this bad boy because what you're gonna do when i want to play with you all right so let's connect this bad boy the downside is they're only going to get two cables and this means one for the video and one for the audio and it's going to be mono sound what i love always about the mega drive itself the original systems is that we're going to get real stereo quality the real blast processing power that sounds so awesome back in the 90s and we're not going to get it because it's mono sound such a bummer all right so let's power it on and let's see if the thing is freaking working oh yeah Love the soundtrack menu. Okay, so one thing, I think you cannot see it on the recording, but there is some interference because of the AVO signal. I wish they made this thing with HDMI, that would be so much cooler. Okay, so let's do a quick scroll through the list. Take consideration if there are like RPGs that have safe functionality in game like Sonic 3. The function will not work. So far I know there is no quick load, quick save. There is also no like save functionality whatsoever. 168 in one. I don't know if there is a multi-game card out that had exactly the same game. So far I know it doesn't. They did put them on alphabetic order. And they added some weird games to the selection if you ask me. Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. So and overall like there were a lot of great games on it. We're going to try some fighting games just to see how the controllers will function. Alright, so that's the list. Let's play some games. Okay, first time we're going to try some Beefcake and Wolfie Dudes. Oh boy, the signal of this thing is really bad. Such a bummer because so far I can hear the audio is quite good. Uh. Beefcake. Okay. It's 
So far I can hear this sound is good. So, and that's the reason I more like saying this is the best clone you can get. I have seen some shitty clones, bad audio, bad signal output and yep, also when it comes to the HDMI versions. Oh man, I played this game so much back in the day. What I find very interesting with this game, Mortal Kombat, is when you're starting it up, it goes straight into the title screen. So we're not going to get the option to edit the blood code. Hmm. What? They did reconfigure everything, like the sick button works perfectly. Alright. The audio seems to be working just fine. Oh man, I love this controller. This plays so amazing. Come on, you cheap ass freaking computer. I can only do this when you're having a groove D-pad. Gotcha! How the hell did he block? Oh, right in my face. Okay, for the final test and also includes for the audio, Street of Rage 2. Seems to be working fine. You can also test the D-pad. All the sound effects are here. The only downside is that with the mono, we're not going to get this awesome stereo sound when it comes to the Street of Rage games. It's such a bummer. Okay guys, so let's do a quick teardown because I wanted to see which year this thing has been made. Uh, sometimes they're just selling it like new model 2021. They didn't do it with this version. They're not that naughty. But I just wanted to see when this thing was made because I think this thing has been on the market for quite some time now. And when it comes to the Sega Mini Classic clones, oh boy, there are so many of these freaking things out there. Oh man, they tighten these screws very well all right all right let's do the final two screws so we can open it up and take a peek in the inside okay so we remove the five parkers that were inside and let's click it open all right so here as you can see like the upper shell there was nothing in it nope nothing at all and here we're going to get the inside and the same story like all the other ones like there is nothing much to see we're going to get one pcb at the front for the two controller ports and of course the on off switch the reset button we're going to get a nice ribbon cable here sometimes you're going to get these old school version that we're going to get a lot of ribbon cables like these old school ones and they're all soldered together but that is not the case over here and it seems to be that it is a 2020 model, so it's not super old. It comes with the old famous DCT 6001 chip, uh, 801 chip. And this is also the explanation why this sounds not bad. Then we're going to get this chip over there, but there is, did they send it off or something like this? There is no information. And I'm just going to be honest, this smaller chip, I cannot even read what says it over there. But okay, but this is the full mainboard that contains all the components. It's such a bummer that they didn't make an HDMI function. But I think if you're going to get one with HDMI, we're still having this really old school analog poor signal. Oh boy, I think on HDMI it will not look that great. Okay guys, so this is what we're going to get in 2021. This device has been on the market for a year or so. 
Did it do a revision? I don't know, man. I don't know, to be honest. There are so many of these devices out there, and sometimes they give it a quick revision. I really love this controller, and would I surprised that we can use it on original Sega Mega Drive. So, if you're paying like, let's say, 50, 20 euro for this, complete ship from China, in my opinion, it's even worth for the freaking controllers. Seriously, like, that is how good they are. Like, they play amazing. You need to get used to the d pickup because it's a little bit higher than the original one, but it is not bad at all. So, when it comes to the system itself, uh, the audio itself, uh, it's surprisingly very good. And I think this is one of the best, I think this is one of the best clones I have seen. It looks nice, it's like fun for decoration. For playing on it old school maybe on a CUT, we're going to get a better result but on an lcd this is not something i can recommend the original one is just in my opinion the best obvious choice because the original one comes with more games built inside or let me grab the console less games see i have a brain fart consider subscribing to my second channel wicked brain fart channel but the thing is like when you're looking at it it's, it's very cheaply made and i know for a fact like the original i have hdmi way better emulation I can say almost near perfect. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit that little bell to become on the Wicked Family. And I will see you in the next video.